Hello everyone, welcome back to my garage and uh, I gotta say that this video didn't went as planned, you know. I, I started recording everything and uh, then uh, something happened. The first thing is, this video is supposed to be about how to change the spark plug of the generator because I was having some issues starting the generator, uh, wasn't starting, um, it was mis misfiring, once st uh, started, you know. <laughs> and it was a mess. So I went through the user manual, have at the end, a very useful troubleshooting section here that starts saying if the engine doesn't, doesn't start and then if you have misfiring, it stops suddenly, you know, you go through this and you eliminate um, options, you know. So I got to the point and I said, well, I have a hard time to start it, but it start. And I went through the, all the other options and I pointed down to the spark plug. So I believe it's the spark plug. Could be the spark plug that is bad or it could be just the connection that is loose. So. I'm gonna change the spark plug and try that, okay? Here is the spark plug. I don't think it was loose, but let's remove the spark plug and replace it. So I get the spark plug. Now, in this manual that came with the generator, the spark plug is not listed here. I had to go to the website and download the user manual, the PDF manual from this generator, and there you will find the type of spark plug that, that you need. I'm gonna put it here somewhere on the screen that you can see uh, what is the spark plug that you need, and also tells you the gap of the spark that is uh, 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters so i started changing the spark plug on this the spark that was in here have a lot of uh, carbon so it looks dark there you go so i got this tool right here this is inches uh, the other size is millimeters and if you see we have here 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 gotta be between seven and eight it should be fine Go right here. It's about almost 0.3 inches at the other side. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but it's very, very, very close to the seven and eight right there. So this should be fine, but I don't know, it's a little burn. I'm gonna replace it and see if this is the problem. If this is not the problem, uh, I may have to check other options um, according to the troubleshooting in the user manual. So let's see. I didn't see it like a, a, a problem, but I already have the new one, so I'm gonna replace it, I'll replace it. Okay, here is the new one. I just calibrate this to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Here is inches at the other side, the millimeter, and it's right there at point, point 0.7 right there. Hard to see, but I can see it. So let's try this one and see if that fixed the, the problem that I have. Remember, when you tie this down, you make a tie, but just like a, a quarter turn, you know, because you can break it and it's gonna be a problem to take it out. Okay, there you go. So a quarter turn and you'll be good. And we put this back. and I tried to start the generator and I had the same problem again. Didn't start. Well, 
it's not the spark. And all of a sudden, I realized that something was sticking out of the air filter. The air filter was kind of like open and a metal plate was sticking out. And I said, what the hell is this? Okay. Well, I found a problem right here. I found a problem. Look at this. I didn't notice this before. What is this? What the hell? What? This came out. This is the air filter and this is something that is sticking out out of here. I don't know what it is, but I may have to open it and put it back. Let's see. Um, I don't know. So I put it back. I closed the air filter. I tried to start the generator and start. I mean, <laughs> At the beginning, uh, try to start the first time and didn't start. The second time, I checked the, the, the generator to see if the, the gas uh, flow through the lines faster. So I grab it like this and I just check it up and down. And that did the trick. After that, the generator to start, I turn it off, I turn it on again, I turn it off, I turn it on multiple times, no misfiring, no problem at all, stay on, no problem at all. So I don't know if it was that it was taking too much air through the air filter because the air filter was open, or just need a little bit of better check, like checking the the gas to mix the, mix the gas with the stabilizer, no idea. But I almost can swear that I, I thought it was the spark plug according to the user manual. Uh, somebody have an emergency somewhere. So I thought it was the spark plug, but no. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can find the spark plug um, if you're interested. If you like this video, you find any any value in it and you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye.